Okay, so we're given that 12 cos x minus 4 sin x and we've got to find the minimum value of it. Write it down, it says. And it's only worth one mark, so it's got to be easy. And indeed it is. We saw in the first part that this expression can be re-expressed as 4 root 10 cos of x plus 18.4349 odd degrees. So finding the minimum value of this is the same as finding the minimum value of this. And the minimum value is in fact minus 4 root 10. So we can write it down. But how did I know it was that? Well, I'll explain, okay? The minimum value is minus 4 root 10. Or you might have minus root 160. That will do as well. Yeah, but how did I figure that out? Well, it all goes back to the graph. The graph of this expression here. And this will help us also in part two. So let's just sketch this graph. Well, to sketch it, we need to go back to the basic graph of y equals cos x, which I'll do in red. y equals cos x, you should know, starts at 1, drops to 0 at 90 degrees, at 200, no, I mean at 180, it's minus 1, at 270 degrees it's 0, 360 degrees it's back to 1 again. So it goes between 1 and minus 1. Okay, so that's the graph of y equals cos x. But if we're to build this graph up here, we'll do the cos of x plus 18.4349. And doing this, what it does is it shifts the graph 18.4349 odd degrees to the left. Okay, parallel to the x-axis. Should really put those degrees on the outside there, so we'll do that. So this graph then is going to be translated to the left 18 odd degrees. So it's going to be fairly close to the red one, coming down like so, back up there, and going up to the one. Okay. So we've got this one going between minus one and one. But now when we multiply it by 4 root 10, we create this new graph, which I'll do in green, 4 root 10 cos of x plus 18.4349, and so on. Okay, can you guess what that does then? It stretches the graph by a factor of 4 root 10 parallel to the y-axis. So this point here gets stretched out to a point at 4 root 10. It comes down through this value here on the x-axis at naught, carries on down, pulls out this bottom bit here down to minus 4 root 10. Back up through this point here at naught and then back up again to 4 root 10. So when it comes to our minimum value, it'll be this value down here. It'll be at, if I just draw the cost there, we could extend this y-axis down. This value here will be minus 4 root 10. Okay, our minimum value. And in the second part, it asks us to find out what's the first positive value that this minimum value occurs at. Well, it's going to be based around this value here on the red graph. Remember, this bottomed out at 180 degrees. Then we shifted it left by 18.43 odd degrees. So all we've got to do to get this value here, the first positive value of x that this minimum occurs, is just to do 180 then minus 18.4349 odd degrees. Okay, so let's just do that. X equals 180 minus 18.4349 odd degrees. That's the first value of X that that minimum occurs. Work that out and give your answer, say, to two decimal places. You'll end up with 
degrees to 2 dp as requested. Okay?